Some Things Just Never Die, Turritopsis Dorney, Tomorrow, and The Cosmological Argument for God, courtesy of Mr. Ministry Man in his latest video, Atheist's Most Feared Questions, Episode 2. This is gonna be really scary. Today we are back with another question for the atheist. Oh please, not another question. They are so terrifying. Your last one is still the one I fear most. What's so great about science? Just as we look back on the ignorance of scientists hundreds of years ago, how do you think the scientists of the 24th century are going to look back at the then realized ignorance of our time? There's a specific reason why most of my videos focus on philosophy rather than arguing matters of science. And that reason is most of the scientific findings that I'd be referencing in any given video might very well be outdated or even false within a year or so. Right, so it's completely useless to teach or learn science or to cite current scientific findings. Let's just close down all science classrooms and ignore current science until we know everything about everything. Stupid. But I'm sure you have tons of great scientific arguments that you'd gladly share with us if only you could. Anyway, I think I'm over the trauma of your last question, so what's your new one? Here's the question. How did it all start? I'm asking how it all started. Now some of you actually might know where I'm going with this. Let's talk about a first cause or a first mover, theoretically, philosophically. How did things start? Now I know where some of you will go with this, so let me address that here. I am going to be doing a video dedicated to the cosmological argument in the Philosophy 101 series a little bit down the road. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> so basically your question is, could you guys please do my research for me? No. Do your own research, or better yet, just make this video that you're obviously dying to make, and then deal with the criticism like an adult. This isn't even the first time you've refused to do your research and refused to defend the argument directly. I want you guys to discuss um, and let me know your feelings about the cosmological argument for the existence of God. And why the cosmological argument? Do you really think that's a good argument? Well, I guess if you haven't done your research, you wouldn't know how bad of an argument it is, so let me get you started. If you go to YouTube and search for my channel name and cosmological argument, you will find both of my videos on the subject, which might give you a good jumping off point into doing your own research if you feel so inclined.